So hi, I'm Sarah from The Upcoming. It's such a pleasure to be with you here in beautiful Cannes. Uh, maybe you could just begin with a brief introduction to this incredible film. What can people expect from The Settlers? And maybe tell us about each of your characters. Well, the film will talk about like the white vision of colonized and uh, what happened. And we're expecting just people watch it and just we open also our minds about responsibility of how we write the story and how we tell the story. My character, I love her so much. She's an indigenous survivor, which was really a strong character for me because I was, I'm real Latina, like I was born in Ecuador, but I grew up in Chile. So in, I grew up with this indigenous vision, but not honor, honoring so much. And when I just found the Selnam, something changed. And then Felipe, I did the casting and everything. I talked a, lo a lot with Felipe and Felipe just told me like, uh, it's you, so just feel free to find yourself too. And I was like, thank you. Yeah, it was a deep process for me. Hi, um, um, yeah, the same as Michelle, you know, uh, we expect the, to people, the, the people to see this movie. Uh, we hope that it gets to, uh, to everywhere and uh, we believe it will because uh, I think uh, we've done something very special. I really want to people in Chile could had the chance to see it. I think we'll, I think it will, and I'm I'm just waiting for that. And uh, I play Segundo, which is um, one of the main characters, alongside with uh, Mark's character and Benja's character. And he is he makes me go to uh, yeah he makes me go to. Uh, to the killings, to hell, you know, uh, and yeah, Segundo is is he, he's that. Um, he's he doesn't want to be part of of this, but he, that's his life, and he wants to to make his life better a little bit. And uh, they bought him, you know. Uh, they promise him stuff, and he really wants that and he does awful things to get it. And uh, it's, uh, it's the story of most of our grand grandfathers, you know? It reminds me a lot of that, uh, a lot of, uh, we try to uh, forget about our history, you know, around. And uh, it's very strong to think that uh, our grandfathers do that too, you know? They don't, they are not, uh, Mapuche, they are not indigenous, they are Chilean. We are indigenous too. Uh, we had that story in our blood. Um, and uh, it's, it's, it's part of our history and we cannot forget that. And Segundo does, and all Chile does, and most of Latin America does, you know? And yeah, f for me, Segundo is uh, a, little, a, a little bit of that. I mean, I'm, ex I'm expecting the film to bring, shed a little light on um, South American history, um, Latin American history. Uh, often we're told about the horrendous genocide that happened in North America. Um, we don't focus much on the indigenous of Latin America. Um, for me, it was all new learning and it shouldn't be. Uh, it should be something which equally to any oppressed history, it should be, um, it should be taught from both, both points of view and from uh, and not just, and as Europeans, we should be aware of what we've done and where we've done it. So yeah, my guy, he's, my character is Alexander McLennan. He was someone who was hired as a, you could say a mercenary, um, although he'd been left over from um, the war that happened there. And he was responsible for the mass genocide and atrocities that happened in Latin America. Difficult person to understand, but you know, within the context of this film and within the nature of Felipe's directing and working with such incredible people, hopefully we've been able to capture a historic piece, but also set in the genre of uh, three chapter Western really. Uh, and hopefully that genre will am amplify uh, the nature of the story, which I think is really important to be told. Something that really struck me watching it is, despite it's sort of really kind of the dark tale that it's telling, it's, it's stunning to look at and the way it captures the landscapes and, as you say, very infused um, of the sort of trappings of, of a Western. So I wonder what was your experience like being on set 
um, working with Felipe, um, what were some of maybe the challenges of being in some of these environments, riding horses, um, some of the you know, <laughs> ah. and did you have, you know, other moments on the other side that were real highlights? So, yeah, working with Felipe, I mean, he, he's been working on this film for over a decade. Um, he, he definitely had a vision, an aesthetic vision for it. Um, something that we didn't really cause ourselves too much trouble thinking about. Um, we had to think about the content more than anything. Uh, obviously, filming in a wild land like Patagonia is, it creates problems. Um, getting a crew across uh, a hundred meter stretch to a lake in the middle of nowhere is difficult to do. But we all banded together, you know. We created this incredible family, this bonded, infused family um, from all different nations. Uh, and it was amazing. The camaraderie, the solidarity it was amazing. But yeah, working was difficult at times. I mean, you know, I was explaining to a journalist before you, I said, you know, we basically, there were parts of the script which were direct translation from Spanish, which obviously, as an English actor, you come across it and you think to yourself, well, that's not gonna read or it's not quite the period. And Felipe was very open-minded about suggestion. He's a two-way street. He's someone who will listen and respond and he expects you to do the same. Uh, there are moments in this film which are completely improvised. There are moments we, in this film which are heavily scripted. Um, but yeah, I think the nature of it, working with guns, horses, uh, told, I mean, ever-changing weather, um, it creates problems, but nothing that a team like this couldn't, couldn't take. Yeah, for me it was the same, like, it was a privilege to work in Patagonia and also it was important because there were some places where they really happened, they killed them over there. So you, I believe in energy, so you can feel this energy and a strong um, environment, but also to honor. And I remember even he took me a picture, like I was just saying thank you for let us film in there. And it was an honor, but we did, we did it with so much uh, respect too. And, and we were a family, so it was so cold and everyone sometimes it was like, are you okay, you need this, this, a tea, something. So, I don't know, just enjoy it and also honoring the, the place where we've been. Yeah, well, I, I will continue with that idea of a family, you know. Uh, every, everyone in the crew was uh, really cared about us and about uh, the, that we are well, you know, that we uh, are not having a bad time. But it ha it's it's hard, you know. It's hard because uh, the environment is difficult, the cold is difficult, and we had a lot of scenes in the middle of the night, and uh, and yeah, the, it's difficult uh, f uh, in every way, you know. But um, it made it it make the, the a little more easy, the people we were working with, and um, yeah, for me it was uh, I was in a lot of stress <laughs> through all the process. I was really tired, but I was happy knowing that uh, we were doing something, something very special and, uh, and that I was doing what I love, you know, that is uh, acting. And uh, that's for me a plus. Uh, that's, I, I, I win with that. Uh, and yeah, for me, yeah, that's for me. Just very quick fire to that time. You know, what do you hope people take away or the impact, especially having a platform like Can to present a film like this? And it does feel like there's still a lot of history that needs to be faced, you know, yeah. whether that's British Empire or that yeah. America. And, you know, this contrast between truth and history, yeah. it feels like even the perspectives in the film, even by the end, where you think, oh, there's supposed to be justice happening. Yeah. Forcing her to try and jump and drink this cup of tea. I think yeah. very wrong. Like, what do you think the impact is? Yeah, well, uh, for us, uh, we've been talking about this. Uh, for us, it's very important to people to see this kind of movie. Uh, for us, it's very important to tell these stories and to and to and to come to realize that they they are there's no one telling them, and uh, it's part of our job uh, as uh, as uh, as, uh, as actors and actresses. Uh, to 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 uh, get into these characters, you know, as a, as a Chilean actor, to put these characters into a place, and as Felipe say, said, uh, um, films makes realities, you know, films uh, can uh, uh, yeah transform uh, some some realities. I'm sorry, I'm sorry for my English, <laughs> but um, but yeah, I, I will pass you the microphone. <laughs> yeah, it's like that, like. 
sometimes we think it's fiction, but in general that really happened. So that's the magic also like the cinema. And, and yeah, just that. That's the magic that we hope that happen and people just talk about it, at least remove something and I hope and kind of be responsible of what happened. And for me, a film like this being at Cannes, you know, um, for Chilean film to be premiered here, I'll be honest with you, I think, it, I think it deserves to be here and I think it belongs here. I think, um, you know, the bravery to think that that is Felipe's first film, I think it's astonishing, astonishing what he's put together in that film. Um, so, yeah, I'm glad it's at Cannes. Amazing, thank you so much thank for sharing you. with me. Thank you. Really enjoyed presenting. Thanks so much. Yeah, thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.